G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this edition where we are going to take a look at major and minor versions in SharePoint document libraries and what the impact is um, when you enable minor versions on a document library when others are accessing that library uh, in a read-only manner. So sometimes you might have this functionality turned on and you're uploading documents to a document library, you haven't published a major version, but people can't see everything that you can see. You might have edit rights, everybody else has read-only rights. So why aren't they seeing these documents that you've uploaded? So that's what we are going to look at and work out why that is uh, the case. So let's jump in here and have a look at, and just set the scene a little bit here. So I'm logged in as Patty here who has got read only access to this invoices document library. So here you can see that she can see two documents and we've got the version 1.0. Now I'm just going to drag her window across here and I'm logged in here as Megan. Now, Me now Megan's a site owner, has got full control over this site and this document library. So the first thing that we're going to do is jump into library settings and I'm going to go to more library settings here and under this versioning settings uh, link here we can see that we can enable the creation of major and minor or draft versions and you can see here major versions 1.0 and then we've got minor versions of 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 etc okay so I'm going to enable this here now that means here now, under the draft item security, I've got a couple of different options that I can select from. So you can see who should see these draft items in this document library. So the top one here, any user that can read the items can see these draft items. So they're these 1.1s, 1.2s, 1.3s or you can set here only users who can edit items. So that means that if we do have a 1.1 version of a document, anybody that has read only access won't see that draft version or that minor version. They'll only, only see the last published major version. So that could be a reason why people aren't seeing what you're seeing. So I am going to enable this and I'm gonna click OK. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to jump back into the invoices library. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to upload a new document and let's have a look and see what happens to the versioning of that document. So I'm going to upload a document. I've just dragged and dropped it. You can see it's uploading here. Uh, and now you can see that the version is 0.1 because we haven't published a major version of this document yet. We've still got these two documents here, 1.0 and 1.0. So these are major versions. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag Patty's over. Remembering Patty's got read only access. I'm going to refresh this browser. Now you'll see that I, she can still see these two published major versions but she's not seeing this minor version one here because a major version, an initial major version of 1.0 has never been published, all right? So if I now go and publish this as a major version, we can add a comment if we want to as well. So let's publish this. It's now gone from 0.1 to 1.0. Now, if I drag Patty's uh, library across here, you can see there that she now has visibility over that new major version 1.0. Now, what happens when we edit a document? So let's just jump into this generic contractor uh, document that I've just uploaded here. Let's make some changes. So we may not want uh, this paragraph anymore. All right, so let's edit the document. And then what we'll do is we will make this a, um, a different version. Let's actually just jump into, let's have a look at this document here. So we'll go into this reminder, contract renewal. And let's just delete this paragraph here. And it's obviously automatically saving for us. And let's now jump back into the document library. We'll go into invoices. Uh, and then let's just refresh the library here. So we can see that now we've got a version of 1.1. Now, if I drag Patty's across over here and refresh the browser window here, you'll see that she only ever sees the last published major version. That's because in that setting of the draft item security. So let's just jump back into library settings. Let's just double check. Uh, we'll go back into versioning settings and it's because of this setting here. 
only users who can edit items can see the draft item security. All right, so there could be an instance where you've got this enabled in a library, you've uploaded a lot of documents, but you haven't ever published a major version of those documents. That could be a potential reason why other users are not seeing everything that you are seeing in that library. So I hope that brings you some value today. Major and minor versions can be extremely useful in your document management strategies and plans, um, but there are some things that you just need to understand from this uh, uh, from this side of things as well. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next edition.